Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we will discuss the time complexity of quicksort. We already discussed the algorithm of quicksort with some example. Simply, what is the quicksort? Consider one element as the pivot element. Generally, we are assuming the first two element is the pivot element. Now, the pivot element is moved to a position in the list such that, suppose this is the pivot element, the elements left to side of the pivot less than values and right of the of the pivot are greater values. That means after pivot moving, the position of the pivot is fixed. Now coming to the time complexity, you know the meaning of time complexity. The total amount of time taken for completion of a program. That is called time complexity. Here we will discuss two cases. First one is the best case. What do you mean by best case? After performing n comparisons, assume the number of elements is n. After performing n comparisons, the pivot element moves to the middle position of the list. The pivot element moves to middle position of the list. Then such situation is called best case. The situation is called best case in this the time complexity T of n. So, what do you mean by this one? The time complexity for n number of elements is equal to 1. What is 1? If n is equal to 1, no need to perform any comparison. So, 1, 2 into T of n by 2 plus n if n greater than 1. You know already this one in Medjus That means, a total of n elements. This is n by 2 elements. This is n by 2 element. Now you have to sort n by 4, n by 4. For this also, n by 4, n by 4. Like this. That means you have to process all the n elements by applying the concept of divide and conquer. That is 2 into t of n by 2 plus n number of comparisons. This is the first, the best case. Now first we will derive the formula that is the time complexity for this best case. After that we will move to the worst case. So T of n is equal to 1, 2 into T of n by 2 plus n. Here n is equal to 1, n greater than 1. This is a recursive approach. T of n is equal to, I am solving this equation. Now replace this one for simplicity. I am writing T of n by 2 is equal to if n as the value here n by 2. Suppose if my value is n by 2, simply what is the formula? 2 into T of n by 2 by 2, n by 4 plus n is replaced with n by 2. Okay, not related to this one. Simply based on this equation. For example, if my n value is equal to n by 4, if my n value is equal to n by 4, in place of n, substitute n by 4. 2 into t of n by 8 plus n by 4 like this. Now coming to this one, here I am trying to solve this equation. 2 into this t of n by 2 is replaced with this one, right or wrong? Yes. So I am replacing like this. So, for that I have said, I said calculate the, all the values. n by 2 plus n. See this one, what happens? 2 into 2, 2 square. T of n by 4 plus 2 into 2 cancelled. n plus n, that is 2n. n plus n, that is 2n. Now, 2 square into replace this equation with this one. Whenever T of n by 4 occurred, replace this one with this one. So, 2 into T of n by 8 plus n by 4 plus 2n. Again the same thing. 2 square into 2. 2 cube into T of n by 8 plus 4, 4. Both are cancelled. Here n plus 2n. That is 3n and so on. You remember this one. This is a recursive approach. And divide and conquer. 
when the divide and conquer procedure is stopped each and every recursion must and should have some base condition what is the base condition here this is the base condition if n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 that is the base condition okay now try to solve this one so by repeating multiple number of times observe you how to convert to a formula such that 2 power k assume it is repeated k number of times t of n by 8 is also represented as 2 cube n by 2 power k plus 3 n plus 3 n so here my intention is the operation is repeated k number of times that is the reason here not 3 that is the reason I am writing k value now what is the base condition n is equal to 1 that means this factor must and should be equal to 1 when it is equal to 1 if you assume n is equal to 2 power k that means n by n n by n in the sense 1 so that is the reason 2 power k t n by n plus k n okay now here k is your assumption that is you are performing k number of iterations but how many number of elements we have we have a total of n elements compulsory your answer must be in terms of n now 2 power k is converted as n t of 1 value is equal to 1 t of 1 is equal to 1 plus k so if n is equal to 2 power k in the sense k is equal to log n simply log n into n so what is the answer n plus n into log n you know the big o notation if you have big o notation n square plus n what is the time complexity big o of n square why in case of sum we are considering only the term which has the maximum time complexity n is one term n log n is another term here the time complexity is n here the time complexity is n log n among these two this has the largest time complexity that means big o notation represents upper bound if you know the upper bound no need to consider all lower values that is the reason simply big o of n into log n this is the time complexity of quicksort in best case in best case now we will move to the worst case the second thing is what do you mean by worst case after performing n comparisons also the pivot element still available at the first position that is the pivot element is not at all moved still available at the first position or available at the end position that is completely first position of the list that means all the remaining values are greater than pivot or last position of the list that means all the values are less than the pivot in this case the time complexity is equal to 1 always whatever the case if you have one number the time complexity is 1 t of n minus 1 plus n what do you mean by this one so if the pivot is the first element total we have n number of elements if the pivot is the first element so the first is fixed then you have to calculate for remaining n minus 1 elements that is the reason t of n minus 1 n plus n comparisons each and every time the pivot is used to compare all the n elements this is the time complexity now recurrence relation now we have to analyze this recurrence relation and find out the time complexity so t of n is equal to 2 into sorry t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n t of n minus 1 plus n now t of assume t of n minus 1 value what is the t of n minus 1 simply n is replaced with n minus 1 that is t of n minus 2 plus n minus 1 
Suppose P of n minus 2 is equal to n is replaced with n minus 2. That is P of n minus 3 plus n minus 2 like this. Now P of n minus 1 is replaced with such that n minus 1 plus n. Suppose this is replaced with P of n minus 3 plus n minus 2. This thing is as it is n minus 1 plus n. If you writing like this, observe the notation 1, 2, 3. 3 n minus minus 1 minus 2 for the first time 0. 0 plus 1 plus 2. For example, for this 0 plus 1 plus 2 that is minus 0 minus 1 minus 2 plus p of n minus 3. Assume this is the equation like this. 3 n I am converting compulsory whenever you have to solve the recurrence relation, you have to come to some structure format. So, if you repeat this equation k number of times, kn, observe here 3, here also 3, here also 3, that is the way each and everything contains the same number, k repetitions, kn minus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus and so on, k iterations plus p of n minus k of n minus k. So, k n minus, you know the formula for this notation, simply k into k minus 1 by 2, k into k minus 1 by 2 plus p of n minus k. After k iterations, this is my formula. You have to stop. You have to stop. When you have to stop, whenever the base condition, what is the base condition? p of 1 is the base condition. That means, this value should be equal to 1. For that purpose, I am writing n minus k is equal to 1. Always in the previous one, n by 2 power k. That is the reason I am writing n is equal to 2 power k. Here, this value should be 1. So, n minus k is equal to 1. Now, what is k value? Obviously, k is equal to n minus 1. Why? Everything must change should be in n format. So, k is equal to n minus 1 into n minus k is replaced with n minus 1, n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 plus p of 1. See this one? n square minus n minus n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 2 plus 1. Now, what is the time complexity? Highest one is here n square. Here n, no need of any symbols, plus 1 into. Here n into n, n square, 2n, n plus 2 by 2 plus 1. Among all these, the highest time complexity here we have n square. After multiplication, we have n square. Simply assume this is the maximum time complexity. So, the time complexity of quicksort algorithm in the worst case is big O of n square. This is the way to analyze the time complexity.